So during the time of COVID, um, I think that the bees have been uh, operating business as usual. If anything, they've probably been slightly better off. Um, and I think this is probably true for lots of plants and animals that have not had to deal with uh, a lot of human activity. So bees get sick. They're infected by lots of different types of uh, parasites or pathogens, uh, including bacteria and viruses and uh, fungal species. They have, over the course of their evolution, probably really struggled with similar breakouts of new infections that they didn't experience before. One of the things that the bees do is if they identify uh, sick uh, larvae or uh, immature forms of bees, they will actually remove them from the colony. Sometimes people call honeybee colonies and other social insect colonies a superorganism. And the idea is that the individuals really want the colony as a whole to survive and aren't so uh, focused on the individual survival. The other thing that I really like about them is that they're these primarily female societies of communities of uh, female workers that work together as a collective, um, all to take care of the queen and to take care of each other since they have the mentality of keeping the hive healthy and that's, that's what I find really fascinating about them. During the time of COVID, it's really important to be able to communicate science effectively and uh, honestly and in a way that uh, empowers people to be able to understand things in a way that's come in, in, in a scientific manner, making sure that people are not misinformed in what they're in what they're doing, so that collectively uh, they're able to pr practice things to keep each other safe. I think that a lot of people, when they um, don't understand something, and perhaps that's because they don't have access to the science. Um, get scared and don't want to interact with it. And that's a perfectly understandable response. Um, but I think that the important thing we need to do is make sure we continue educating people about COVID and educating people that just because it's not affecting them right now doesn't mean it won't affect them in the future, doesn't mean it's not affecting somebody else. Um, and reminding everybody that we all need to be working together and all need to be recognizing uh, where we're coming short in order to make changes. I think watching the bees, these insects that all live together in a colony, uh, use these strategies to prevent um, the spread of infectious disease within the community is really inspiring and, and makes me think that, uh, that we as humans uh, should be able to use uh, the means that we know can protect ourselves and the community uh, to help us get through something like uh, COVID.